Now, I feel like I could be in a horror movie, like someone screaming in Scream the background. Right now. I'm not screaming right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't put me down, so the first thing I did was just punch him in the face. Yeah, let's go! Dang. And in that moment, you he built a face. bitch. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an extremely special episode of the Courage Today Chat Show. And and I don't say that very often. I say it's a special day. Half the time I'm lying um, because I really <laughs> hate 90% of our guests secretly. Uh, there's some drama for you. No, I'm kidding. I wonder um, this is a very is. different day because we have uh, myself, Nate Shot, and Ray here, who you guys are very familiar with. But um, one of our guests today, our only guest today... Uh, is a content creator and musical artist over 66 million TikTok followers and 10 million Instagram followers. She was also a guest on our Cash App Payday stream, coming in third place in the Uno tournament with Ray uh, losing to me. <laughs> okay, dude. Because I won that. <laughs> and I remember very much when you guys dropped a draw four on me, and I was very upset. Um, <laughs> I love how casually we just scraped over 66... <laughs> <laughs> the music video for her debut single, Build a Bitch, releases on YouTube on Friday, May 14th, as well as Apple Music and Spotify. And there's also a very special reveal that you will only get first from this episode that you will not want to miss. I promise you that. We're going to get into that here very soon. But yeah, Matt, before we really coming out, I can't believe we just grazed over. Uh, Bella Porch is here on the show, Woo! ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Welcome. First off, it's so great to see you again. It's great to have you. Um, Thank you. Congratulations. I'm just going to say, we <laughs> maybe my eyes somehow <laughs> saw the music video. Maybe they did. And I was extremely impressed. So congrats. Thank you. That means a lot. Like, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, huge week. Would you say this is one of the biggest weeks of your life? Yes. Wow. Like, it's crazy. I, I feel like everything is still a dream. Like, Aww. yeah. <laughs> I mean, what a year. We're going to get into all of it, but I know Nate Shot's here uh, very anxious uh, to ask all sorts of random questions. So. Why is he? You will, you will see that throughout these episodes. I have uh, spells of ADHD and ADD, and it's all mixed together, and a lot of things are going to come out of left and right field, but we're going to get through it. Just I was don't just, be scared. I, yeah, don't be scared. I, I, I feel be like scary. I'm very Not approachable. Scary. In just a moment, we're going to talk about your background before TikTok started, but really quickly, we got to give a big shout out to Cash App. This show is brought to you by Cash App. If you don't use Cash App, then fuck you. You probably know Cash App is the easiest way to send your money to your friends and buy Bitcoin, but Cash App does way more than that. Cash App is the easiest way to try and grow your money in the market with the investing feature. Unlike other investing tools that force you to buy shares of an entire stock, Cash App lets you own any dollar of just one stock. Fuck that. Uh, Cash App investing is free to use and free of fees. It's all simple. It's all simple to set up. Yes. Uh, you simply open up Cash App and decide how much you want to invest in a single stock and click purchase. As always, we are stoked to be working with Cash App to support the Gamers Outreach Foundation. If you use promo code THIEVES, T-H-I-E-V-E-S, I spelled that right, not only will you receive $10 from Thin Air, but Cash App will donate $10 to the Gamers Outreach Foundation, an amazing foundation, an organization founded by Zach Weigel that provides video games to kids dealing with long-term treatment in hospitals. You can make a great impact by signing up for Cash App using the promo code THIEVES. Uh, that's in the Cash App from the Google Play Store uh, or App Store today. Uh, 60 million followers. 66, 66 million followers. It's unfathomable. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I've been on the internet for 10 years making videos since 2000, 12 years, since 2009, and I have not even scratched the surface in comparison to what you have accomplished in just, what, you'd probably say like the last year, the last year and a half? Yeah. Am like I marginalizing that a little bit? Has it been f longer than that? I think nine months. That is nine unbelievable. Months. <laughs> nine months. Holy shit. I mean, I know it's easy to sort of just go with the flow every single day, but do you ever take a second to just reflect on how many people have never accomplished what you have accomplished in nine months? Yeah. Um, it's crazy. It's so crazy to think about. Like, I've only started like last year and now i'm like here <laughs> well i think what's unbelievable too which you should be very proud of is that i've seen a lot of people that have come up on the internet and grow up on the internet and and come into their own fame but you have now catapulted into like such a new category whereas a lot of people stay on youtube a lot of people stay on instagram a lot of people stay on facebook mm. and to to make a youtube video on your first try or i'm sorry a music video mm -hmm. uh at that level of quality and how great the song actually sounded I, I just got to give a lot of credit. I love when we have people that come on the podcast that do something bigger and do something larger than themselves and larger than what brought them into their own fame. So congratulations. I, Thank it's just, you. 
I fucking love it. <laughs> same. same. Yeah. So I, I think, you know, a lot of people are, are, are looking forward to this, are, are excited. It's the sound. Like, I, cause I want to hear a little bit about, we're going to talk to begin about the music video because this is the big thing of this week. There's already been the chorus is out, right? Or mm-hmm. at least the sound. Like, what, what, yeah. what has been your thought process behind using your TikTok following to build a hype and excitement? Um, can I say that again? Sorry. Like, what, what's really... been, like, you, you strategically put this chorus out, right? Like, what, what were you thinking when doing that? You were like, oh, I want to make sure I can build the hype, right, and get, mm-hmm. and get things going. Yeah, so, like, one of my ideas for, like, a teaser video was a face zoom. Yeah. For, like, yeah, and, and at... Have you seen the teaser video? I don't know. I don't know if I have. I know the face zoom type things that there yeah, are. Yeah. So like mm-hmm. it started off as like a face zoom. Yeah. Of me just like. Oh, I've seen this. Yes. Yeah. Ahead, and ahead. then and then it zooms out and you just see my head on the table and then there's like. A lot of questions. Like, yeah. Fire. That's fire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, no. there it is. Oh, here it is. Okay. So that so that's a that this was. This was the first people have seen from it, right? Or the yeah. only thing they've seen really this from the video. This is the first thing I mm-hmm. saw from the video. I honestly would argue that you probably had one of the most, if not most viral moment on the internet ever. Would you, I mean, think about it. When that first TikTok, and mine, I, I, clearly it might not be your first TikTok, mm-hmm. but I re- just remember seeing you all over Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I mean, it was unbelievable. What, 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 what was going through your head when the number just started rising and rising and rising and rising? Yeah, I thought it was going to stop after like, a million Mm -hmm. i was like oh just another you know viral video and then it just kept growing like people kept liking it and commenting and then it just kept growing until now it's still getting like likes so it's funny (laughs) how many likes does it have now do you know i think it's at 48.9 oh my god 47 point or yeah it is yeah i think it's the most liked video on tiktok yeah it is (laughs) you know so i've seen (laughs) i've seen a couple of your tiktoks was it, it it can can you do the face? What face? <laughs> from from the original TikTok? What was it? it oh, was just... like the 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 cross eyed with like. Oh, we don't have to. Okay, I just wasn't sure what which one it was. I can't do any of the faces. I didn't mean for that question to sound awkward. I don't know. <laughs> I wish I could do that, but honestly, I would just be so bad at it. I try to make my eyes go cross eyed, and I can't. It hurts. I can't do it. I don't know. They, oh my players. god oh my god i can do it oh my can god oh what my the? gosh <laughs> who was that how do you I'm do that outside. you do it you just point i don't know how to do it like look at your nose mm-hmm. and then like look up wait <laughs> yeah like, is it working <laughs> no, no no okay my well, nose is huge they, too, so I, hold on. maybe it's because i have to be like a small nose <laughs> <laughs> no you still like an idiot <laughs> <laughs> i mean you can try like following your finger oh wait, yeah what? that's a trick yeah I'm doing oh, it. Yeah, yeah. You oh, did I do it? Yeah, you did. Did I do it? Wait, wait, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, it looks like it's. Oh, ow, I got a headache. Yeah, it kind of hurts actually. Oh my like, god, that actually just hurt my head. Hold on. No, you need to really, like, really focus on the finger. Focus. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Bill. You just changed my life wow. forever. We're going viral, baby. Hey, Come on. I'm about to start doing that on TikTok now. No, but I just feel like it, it took the internet by storm. I mean, truly. And I, you yeah. don't have that many moments. Like I feel like you every single year, there's always one moment that everybody can remember. And that, for me, during COVID, was just like, holy shit, TikTok is here to stay. Mm-hmm. When somebody can rise to stardom and fame that quickly, mm-hmm. it's unbelievable. It's yeah. fucking lit. Exactly I think the best thing is. about it is that you're definitely like capitalizing on it. You know, mm-hmm. like you you are talented. You can sing. And now like you can show people like on the platform that you've grown what you can do. And it, it's just it's great and exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. No, I completely agree. And, uh, you know, with the song coming out. M to the B, M to the M to M to the B. <laughs> <laughs> um, but now you obviously have your own song coming out mm-hmm. and I, I the great question that I, typically i don't just read the question off because we get little papers here that can help us with with interviews to make sure we cover all our bases but i i actually love this question what inspired you to create Sorry. build the bitch because i think that there's a a greater meaning behind it yeah so like growing up like i used to get bullied and stuff Mm -hmm. like oh you look like and yeah so i've always wanted like 
to be a singer, an artist. And it's always been my dream since I was like little. And for my first song, I think I, yeah, I wanted like my first song to have like a, a good meaning to it yeah. and sure. to help like a lot of people just to be like more confident about themselves. And I, I want, I want the song to be meaningful. And yeah, so I thought about like something that can help people. Yeah. Yeah, well, I feel confident I mean, and yeah. accepting of themselves. Well, and young kids need to hear that too. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. obviously a huge sure. demographic on TikTok trend very young. And for you to share that story of you being bullied and being self-conscious about who you are, or where, the way that you look like, um, I can't imagine how many people actually help. I could have used that when I was a kid because I was the same way, very self-conscious. And these kids now too with social media and Instagram and Twitter and the false expectations that people set. They're pretty, it's ruthless. It, I mean, it, I can't even, I, I truly, I can't even imagine what it must be like to be like a 13 year old girl right now in this world because oh, yeah. it, half the time you're scrolling through TikTok and you're like, how old is this girl that, I, that just popped up onto my feed? Mm -hmm. I, I, and can you imagine having the pressure to show up to school every single day looking your best, worrying about if you're going to end up in the background of an Instagram story. I mean, back when I was in high school, phones didn't fucking exist. We didn't yeah. even have flip phones yet. I'm kind of grateful for that. Like, I can't imagine going through school now with, like, you know, having to compare numbers, yep. you know, in school. Oh, man. I was pulling up in gym shorts and, like, a dirty white T-shirt. Now, there's a reason why I never talk to girls, I, for sure. But as... <laughs> I mean... What is the gossip right now? I would love, I would love to have like a fourteen-year-old kid, like one of our cousins. You got a cousin that's that age or something like that. Yeah. Come on the podcast. Tell me what it's like to be in high school right now. Wow. Like, what do people talk about in the locker room? What are people talking about in the hallways? How mm. are you being judged? Do you get made fun of if you're not posting a Snapchat story every single day, or if you're not following back on Instagram? It's like crazy. To think. Can you imagine the dynamic of that? Wow, what it's probably doing to kids nowadays. Fuck yeah. that. Mm -hmm. No, it's a great song. It's I love I love the message. Behind I love it. the message. Yeah, no, definitely. When you guys are seeing this, be be excited because I believe this is coming out the day before the release of the video. Yeah. So you guys will have time to be able to go and 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 uh, and, and go tune into that uh, tomorrow. But we have an exciting announcement today that I'm going to tease up to you guys to reveal. I don't know if you want to say it or what is it. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, <laughs> okay, I know what it is. Uh, I think we're ready to, to reveal it. Um, Bella, what, what, while we have everyone here, what, what is the exciting announcement for this podcast here today? Uh, that there's a special someone on the music video with me. <laughs> we have it up on our screen right now. That special someone is Ray herself. Yeah. Oh my God. Me, that's my noggin. That's my <laughs> noggin. Ray, you're in another music video. Yeah, back to back videos. Back insane. to back videos. Yeah. Damn, Ray's really on her boss bitch shit. Yes, yeah, she, she is. God is. damn. That is uh, that's that is the. Yeah, Bella just slid into my DMs, and I, I was like, it, this was like maybe two days after the music video with MGK and Corpse dropped, mm -hmm. and so she just straight up asked me like, hey, you want to be in my music video? I'm dropping a song and stuff, and. I was looking at it, I was like, can I do this? <laughs> like, are you sure? And so I figured, you know, I'm already, you know, exiting my comfort zone anyways. So I was like, why not? Let's do another one. So, yeah, this one was nice because I didn't have to memorize words. Yes. But um, I didn't have to memorize the words. Yeah, I didn't have to memorize the words at all. But Well, it's um, so funny to me, too, right. because you guys have, I would say, probably the most memorable sets of uh, heads of hair that I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, you guys are like twins. You guys are the same exact height. You both have super long hair mm -hmm. that I'm sure. I mean, my girlfriend is very envious of. She mm -hmm. wants to grow out her hair. She we can't. both have the Balenciaga fit today. I know. <laughs> the Balenciaga yes, or the jackets. Oh, my broke. God. Iconic. I mean, it's nothing We got the black the boots, merch. too. I Let's know. go, Bella. Like, it's nothing compared to somebody get them a damn TV show and let me get a cameo in or something. Oh yeah, do you imagine this was like a real TV show and they had like cameras outside and stuff like that? Instead they just had to be on my vlog. That sucks. Uh, <laughs> but no, I mean this is a great screenshot from the the, the tease from the video. Um I guess we can't really give away much more than that. People we're, just have to we're, tune we're in done talking it. about it because you guys just need to tune in. Yep. It is mind blowing. Do you know what time it awesome. drops? Like the video? It's um, tomorrow fri or Friday, the fourteenth. At what time? Does anyone know? I don't know, but my eyes Do hurt you from know? doing that thingy. Do you know what time? Yeah. Oh, it's Friday at midnight. Oh, midnight. Oh, midnight. So, so it's basically like late night tonight when you're watching this. Oh, let's so go. So it's midnight PST, PST on the 13th, 3 a.m. Eastern. Or, 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 or Sorry, midnight 
midnight on the 14th PST. Oh, 9 p.m. Pacific. It's, it's, oh, oh, midnight it's Eastern. Midnight okay, Eastern. okay, okay. Now I got it. Here I'm we go. For, I'm May, about to do the TikTok it, right now. You guys got me cross-eyed. It dropped <laughs> May 13th at 9 p.m. PST, which is May 14th at midnight EST, mm -hmm. which is sometime in the early morning Europe time. And if you're from Australia, you guys are three <laughs> years ahead of us anyway, so who the fuck knows? <laughs> That's basically okay. how I'm going to break it down. Okay? So you'll, right. you'll have to go watch. Um, congratulations, Ray, for being in the video, but... Obviously, mega congratulations yeah. to you, Bella, on your first Thank song, you. music video. I'm so impressed with the production. The song itself, this is a hit. You got a hit on your hands, folks. So. Build a bitch. And watch this. When she becomes like the <laughs> mega star, like a mega music music star, it all started on the Courage and Nate Shot Show. Well, we don't have to. We were the start That's of Bella's music unfair. career. I I'm so humbled by this. Yeah, it's my first podcast. First it's your first pod podcast? Ever. Yes, oh, shit. Ever in my entire oh, life. All right, all world. right, all right. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, just, it's this a big history. moment. Yeah. So, so normally when we do these shows with these guests, we like to dig into the past a mm -hmm. little bit. Is, is that something you're comfortable doing? Can we ask a couple questions about your background or who Bella yeah. Porch was before she was a viral sensation and future platinum recording artist? Yep. <laughs> Predictions. Double platinum, triple platinum, who knows? <laughs> Diamond is the one above that, 10 million. Uh, oh, There's yeah. There's been like six Diamond songs, oh, I think. Shoot for Platinum. Yeah. That's a diamond yeah. would be sick. I mean, she's gone quadruple, quintuplet Diamond on TikTok, so. Yeah, true. All right. So, I think uh, when I first met you, we had you over at the compound. Uh, everybody was wearing masks. Yes. Uh, because we were very safe. But uh, you had mentioned that you actually served in the military before. Which yes. I think is unreal. I mean, I would have never in my life as a man had the courage to serve in the military mm. and for you to be as a strong woman as you did you were in the navy correct yes navy what was the decision making behind that was there anything more than this is just what needs to happen this is what i need to do or um well my brother was in the navy too um when i joined and like i also wanted to be like independent and i wanted to like like leave home and be independent and see that's the what, world yeah. and stuff yeah okay and yeah i also like love traveling so navy was a free ticket yeah exactly. <laughs> there you go. wow wow that's actually crazy have you ever been on a submarine no okay that's what did you what did I'm you specialize in in the navy weapons weapons really yeah okay Ray likes swords. <laughs> I don't Let's think the Navy go. uses swords this, these, in this day and age. <laughs> Where they just use, uh, no, no. they have real, they have, uh, you know, other weapons now in, in today's time. But if you need a katana, raise your girl. Oh I do God. have a few katanas. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> We're not kidding. I would, We're yeah, kidding. I was collecting swords at one point. But. Yeah, no, that's that's still my favorite that's story so cool. of Ray. Well, okay, I, I, so you well, were weapons. Well, hold on, hold on. I, 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 sorry, I, I just have so many questions. Um, So... One of my favorite aspects of TikTok is when they go in the different branches of the military. Why'd you join the army? Would you do it again? And they all say, fuck no. Like all this <laughs> wild shit. Yeah. Uh, but the, I feel like the biggest thing whenever I see movies, uh, just because I've, I don't have a military pass, is just the, the sheer shock that basic training and boot camp does to a person. Did you get to a point like a couple months in the Navy, like, oh, fuck, what did I just do? Uh, no, actually... I, I, I like being in the military. Like, like even, even in, in training, camp. too? Yeah, so, like, in boot camp, like, all, um, a lot of my, like, the people I'm in the division with, mm -hmm. um, they they were crying, like, oh, my gosh, like, I miss home and yeah. stuff like that. And then I was just there, like, I love this. Like, wow. Yeah. This yeah. is <laughs> <me> so <laughs> different. Damn, you're badass. Yeah, I'd, yeah. Be, I'd be crying. I'd be stressed needing, out. Needing huh. home-cooked food. Damn. I can't even run a mile. This is a weird <laughs> Yeah, basic really training would not how out of shape I am. Would not go well for you. So no. you get through basic training and then do they give you orders like this is where you're being shipped off to, or do they give you a choice on what you're going to do? Because if I remember correctly, I heard you guys talking outside that you were stationed in Japan. Mm -hmm. How did you end up there? Was that by request? Um, no, that was just like so after boot camp they put you to like a your job training like wherever your job is so mm -hmm. um i first went to pensacola florida for mm -hmm. like job training because i was gonna work with like like aviation like jets and like helicopters like so yeah that's where i started off and then after that they give you your orders and then yeah 
And you were just Japan. out in Japan. <laughs> just pulling up. Wow. Do you ever go out and party in Japan on your off days? Um, on the weekends? They let you leave the base, right? Yeah. Um, it, it was like an hour. My well, my duty station was like an hour um, train ride from Tokyo. So I was there like almost every weekend. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting lit in Tokyo. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Pulled up with dual M16s just walking around. What? Oh, she specialized my God. Pulled up with M16s. <laughs> no, I just think like how badass that would be. Obviously, guns are... She went to Tokyo to party, not to I just flex think, she's in the U.S. I, I just think well, what would look the most badass, just walking down a well-lit Tokyo skyscrapers in the background, just mm. dual M16s, akimbo. <laughs> yeah, I don't think That's like they have, I don't think M16s is a weapon you akimbo anyway. They're oh, no, heavy. you can. I, I, I think they should. that should be the next cover of Call of Duty. Cyber warfare, bitch. Come on. <laughs> How sick that? would that be? Yeah, that would be sick. No, I agree. That's basically what they do anyway on the covers. I just, I just Not think, in Tokyo. Okay. I just think they're heavy. So, uh, what heavy. is what do you miss the most about being stationed in Japan? I mean, if you're going to Tokyo like, every weekend, you got to miss parts of that, right? Yeah, the people and the food. Mm. I don't know. The, the people there are just so nice all the time. I love Japan. Like, I've had so... some of the best food I've ever had in Japan. Yep. It's incredible food there. You yeah. do need to go. 100 Thieves Yeah, you Japan. have to go. Let's go. Well, we <laughs> actually might be going to Japan this year. Oh. And uh, oh? so, Jack... I'm not going to speak for him, but I hear about it the most. Jack went on a trip to Japan uh, in October right before COVID started. Mm -hmm. And he came home, and I've never seen him happier. He's so elated about the trip that he just went on. He said it was the best place he's ever been. Mm -hmm. And actually, one of my favorite uh, TikTok like, subgenres that I've ended up in my algorithm, because I watch a lot of anime and I do a lot of Googling about Japan, is how what you mentioned the people are so prideful of their work if they're a garbage man a teacher mm -hmm. a restaurant a restaurant worker everybody takes so much pride mm -hmm. in their job that it's like the best experience you'll have um and i want to go there so badly just because my friends have all been there and my love for japanese culture i definitely need to open up my horizons to the food but I, it every all three of you sitting here talks about how much you love it, it just makes me want to go even more <laughs> yeah well they have no choice yeah. Now you just have to go. And they just opened, uh, they're opening uh, Super Mario World. Yep, Super Mario. We just and, talked about that before yeah. this. <laughs> that would be awesome. And, well, I can't say that, but we well, got we got things happening soon. Okay. But oh, I love, okay. spoilers. I love, uh, I love Japanese culture. That's my two cents. Well, thank you, Matt. Yep. Wow. <laughs> this I podcast we, is about me and the things that I like. <laughs> we, should all go, we should go to Super Mario World, all of us together. Yes, well, please. if you stop calling it Mario, please. No, Super God. Mario World. What did I say wrong? <laughs> from the you. Bella, do you say Mario or Mario? Mario. Oh, Mario. Okay. Mario. Yeah, she, she, okay, she said You didn't need to boss up like that. Yeah, okay. I mean, she just built a bitch all over us, man. <laughs> She built. She built a bitch, right? <laughs> <laughs> we could make that a verb. Actually, that she might be built the, a bitch. Damn, that might be the new saying. Like how people go, "Sheesh." Can we make that the, the TikTok saying? Man, you just built the bitch. <laughs> oh my when god! When someone pops off, imagine. We might be instead of bussing, bussing, she bitching, bitching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm old. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't understand this, these TikTok trends. You are old. Um, yeah, no, we definitely. Um, we definitely don't know TikTok that well. Um, Last Instagram. question on this list. Uh, so normally mm -hmm. people at, at the end of the, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, normally people at the end of their contract with the military have a choice to, you know, renew their orders and do something else or go somewhere else. Uh, it says here that you spent three years. Was there anything about that experience was just, okay, this isn't for me anymore, or I want to get back to the life that I lived. What was it for you? Just. Yeah, I actually served for four years. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Someone's fired. <laughs> it's Vega. I'm firing Vega. Ooh. Alex, you just embarrassed me in front of our <laughs> guest. She's going to go fucking platinum, Alex, and I'm looking like an idiot. <laughs> oh, okay. What if you broke our setup? Can I ask like just a few more questions about the military? Yeah. Sure. Okay, because I uh we've never had a guest on the show and I I've had friends that we're in the military, but I guess I've never had a, an intimate conversation with them. Okay. So two things would run through my mind if I were in the military. Okay. One is what is like the closest situation you were in where like, oh, fuck, I might have to go do some shit. You know, like, it, it, you know, there's uh, I don't know what years you were in the military, but like the social climate countries kind of jawing off in public and world leaders you know you got north korea and america we're always talking a lot russia's always got something to say was there any moment where people within your barracks or where you were stationed were talking about 
oh shit, we might actually have to get our hands dirty. No. <laughs> okay, okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not like the movies as much, man. Okay, yeah, okay. Well, that's, that's what like I'd thinking. be thinking, right? Like, uh, imagine you enrolled or you joined the army like in 1999 mm. and you're on a four year term. Mid midway through, this shit goes down. 9 11 happens. Like, you have to be thinking about that. Yeah, true. Uh, and the second question is it, whenever I watch the military movies, I'm sorry for any of our military, if shit like this isn't true. You ever do something that got you in trouble? You had to scrub the floors with a toothbrush? What were you, anything that you had to get, you, you were partying in Tokyo way too hard and you missed your wake up call? Yeah, I didn't really get in trouble okay. much because I was like, Ray got excited. <laughs> yeah, he got but, excited too, Matt was like, oh, Ray thought you were gonna <laughs> but, say. yes, yeah, like, there, no there's way. like, uh, that one time, can, can I tell that one time, <laughs> or is it, but, um, if you say anything that you go back and say that I didn't want to say, we can cut it, so yeah. feel free. So, yeah, so I was in Pensacola, Florida. And like, there's like an on base bar, and people can go to it. Like, and yeah, you don't have to drink to go. There's like movie theaters and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so, like, my friend, she's of age to drink, and she wanted like a buddy to go with her. And I went, and so I was sitting next to like the bar, mm -hmm. and I just watching my friends talk to her other friends, and then. Some random marine guy just came out of nowhere and Nicholas Cage. <laughs> no, not and like picked me up like this. <gasps> like he just grabbed you? Yeah. He just grabbed me and I he was drunk. And so he was like, Oh my gosh, like you're so tiny, ha huh? ha. And then he was like showing me to off to his friends, like, look at her, she's so tiny, ha huh? ha. And then they're just laughing, drunk. What the hell? And I was asking oh, him to like put God. me down. Like I was getting so mad and then he he wouldn't put me down, so the first thing I did was just punch him in the face. Yo, yeah, let's go! Dumb. And in that moment, you he built a face. bitch. Yeah. That <laughs> built a bitch. And then he fell, because I, yeah, I punched him real hard. He fell, and then I kept punching him. Good! W. Like, while I was on top of him, I was just punching him, and somebody had to grab me to stop. <laughs> Damn, that shit's, a, that okay. shit's crazy. Well, first off, I'm it was fucked so up. I'm so glad. It might have been Nicolas Cage. Yeah. But that is so cage. disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. very I've disrespectful. I've also had someone hoist me over their shoulders. Like, it was at a college. And just drunk people around, they just randomly pick you up. Yeah. And I'm like, what is this guy doing? This might be a surprise, but no one's ever lifted me up. <laughs> <laughs> and hoisted me. Don't pick up girls without consent. Yep. Y'all motherfuckers ain't got no there. game. Psycho. That's yeah, not no, how you do it. it. Oh, I'm, I'm triggered now. Yeah, don't, okay. Uh -oh. Ray, Ray might actually stab someone. Um, <laughs> changing topics completely. Uh, Bella, I know you have a lot of tattoos. Yes. Nade Shot is starting to build on his tattoo oh, yeah. repertoire. Wow. Show off yeah. your arm. You have a collection you? of tattoos. Ooh. Okay, well, I got this one. It's King Arthur. Nice. This is a gangster from Prohibition in Chicago. This is Hunter Thieves. I'm about to get finger tats. I think about getting an eagle tattooed right here. He's getting finger tats, did you know? Wait, that? what are you light. getting on your fingers? Sorry? Yeah. What are you getting on your fingers? Uh, it's going to be uh, in old Eng English. Uh, the number is 6050 because the house that helped me uh, grow uh, to my stardom or my fame, or what was, in my opinion, stardom at that time, uh, the address of the house was 6050 Russell Drive. Aww. And the address of this compound, that was in Chicago, like eight years later, this is 6050. Jefferson wow. Boulevard. So. I did not know the that. The two biggest Pretty moments crazy. of my career. That's 60, cool. 50. Bow. And I'll punch you, and you're going to fucking. No, I, it's not going to be. <laughs> it, you, I Bella punches way harder than you do. So I'm sure really she does. Scary. I don't. I can't punch. But yeah, those are my tattoos. What but, are the odds? But now wow, you have a lot of tattoos, Bella. Is, 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 talk to me a little bit about the, the tattoos when you got your first one. Give me the backstory. Yeah. So, like, I grew up in a family who are like strict and they're like, no tattoos and stuff like that. But... Typically, how it happens. <laughs> That is how it yeah. happens. <laughs> but I'm like, you know. You're independent. Yeah. You do what I want. I do you what I want. Do what you want. <laughs> so like the first one I had was like a, a key heart right here. Mm -hmm. And it was just to like try if like, you know, how it would feel. Mm -hmm. And I was only like 17 at the time. But, you know. <laughs> he sent it. When in yeah. Rome. <laughs> yep. And I didn't want to get like a big, big tattoo at that moment because I'm like, oh, how if I don't like it? Like, I got to think through it. And yeah, so as years go by, like in the military, I was like, yeah, I think I'm ready for like bigger tattoos. And that's when I started getting 
more tattoos and the biggest one is like my back piece and you have a huge piece yeah on it's back. um it's wings and a ship and it symbolizes like my time in the military that's Aww. sick yeah wow wings because like i worked in aviation so i was like working with like helicopters like jets and yeah like aircraft well your tattoos are already cooler than mine <laughs> I, matt's like this, this one's shiny <laughs> <laughs> This guy kind of short. Yeah. <laughs> True. Well, that's awesome. I uh, I don't have any tattoos, right? Do you have any tattoos? I do have two tattoos. See, I I didn't know that. Yeah. Where are they? I actually have one on my wrist. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you say you were going to get that removed? I, I don't care to get it removed. I think like, it's cool. I just, uh, I wish I would have got like tasteful, like smaller, you know? It's but, okay. Nah, it's okay. Are you going to get more tattoos, right? Nah. Because like, I don't really care about either of my tattoos and I, you know... Mm. Looking back, I, I realized like I don't need to. I didn't know. I'm just. I didn't mind the pain. It wasn't painful. Like mm -hmm. where I got. Like I have one right here, and uh, this one it says and beyond. And my best friend from high school and elementary school, she got two infinity. So you Aww. know, Toy Story. Oh, oh wait, that's that. dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So but it's like we're not we really so friends cute. anymore. So it's oh, like. <laughs> Well, maybe this could be a way to reconnect. I, I mean, it's like it's like an ode to the past. Like we are very different people, live very different lives. But like you know, it's one of those friendships where when we do talk again, it's gonna be very casual. Yeah, you know? Bella can get a tattoo that says "To Infinity," and now <laughs> you guys, there you go. Or I'm just gonna get to Infinity yeah. times two. <laughs> yeah, this is this, the second. Um, oh, my God. oh shit! My, oh. Do you have any tattoos that you're like scheduled to get? Are you gonna get a? Are you gonna get a? a oh, have any you new considered tattoos getting coming? a tattoo because of Build a Bitch is like a ode to memorize, like remembering this song? Yes, I'm mm. actually. I have a lot of tattoo plans in the Ooh, future. Like okay. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, tell me what leak? artist you're gonna can we, work. Can we get a leak here, or yeah, who you're gonna work with? I mean, my tattoo artist like is in Japan. Like, oh yeah. Yeah. So oh, I want to get a tattoo. I'm, I'm very Take loyal to my like tattoo. <laughs> well, which, well, that's pretty. <laughs> that's pretty interesting too, because tattoos really are frowned upon in in Japan, and mm -hmm. it's actually illegal to tattoo in Japan. Is it really? Yes, really. it's. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like it's very frowned upon. Like if people see you in public with like tattoos. They would look at you like, oh, she's probably gang related or like. Wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah my, my tattoo artist actually did like a residency in Japan and the the shop that he did his tattoos in was owned by the Yakuza. And it's, it's a long story. I don't want to blow up a spot. He's a great guy. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I've heard a lot of different things about tattoos in Japan. Wow. So it's crazy that your artist is there. So maybe you could fly yeah. him out here instead. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's cool for the story. I really want to go get a tattoo uh, from an artist. I'm sure everybody does. His name is Uzi in South Korea. Because mm -hmm. I love anime and he does incredible. He, there's this unbelievable, you might be able to pull it up, uh, Alex. Go to Uzi Tattoo. And he's got from Death Note, Ryuk. And it's Ryuk like sitting at night on top of a power line. And I'm like, man, it's 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 against the code to like copy somebody else's tattoo. But I'm like, fuck, man, that is such. It, it's a. I want to get that on my goddamn leg. I think it'd be dope. Yeah, you, you'll find it, man. It's just type in Uzi Ryuk R Y U U K and pull it up on the TV. This shit like is so hard. I feel like I'm uh, I'm too scared to get a tattoo. Do, do tattoos hurt, Bella? Um, it depends where you get it. What's the most painful spot you've had a tattoo? Um, my. Like my spine, like oh, right where the yeah. bone is. Ow. Yeah, ow, ow, ow. my friend Tim got uh, one on his elbow, and he said that was the most. No, no, sorry. Oh, oh, it'll pop right up. O O Z Y instead of U Z Y. O O Z Y, dude. Once you guys see this, you're gonna lose your mind. It's so clean. I can barely see. I need to get my glasses. Uh, that top left oh, one. Top one. left. Yeah. Look at that oh, shit. Wow. Isn't that wild? Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah, I love that. Look at the yeah. detail. It's like, I'm pretty sure it's a single needle. That's what I have. That hurts the most. Yeah. Single needle does? <laughs> yeah. It wasn't bad. What? But I have only had them on my arm. So I'm sure if I did some, I, I have to get a tattoo. Tim, that's Tim said, Tim the Tabman said, leg actually surprised me how much it hurt, too. It's mm -hmm. so good, dude. Fuck. I just want that same exact tattoo, but you can't. It's like against the I mean, code. you could do something like that, change it up, maybe a different artist, a different rendition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just. Oh god damn it. So I think you just That is really sick, I think you just though. get the same thing over. I can't. It, no, most artists won't do that. Most good artists that are reputable, That's they true. won't copy somebody else's work. They just refuse to. They actually like wow. it block you if you I mean it shows me. how much <laughs> I know that I'm just asking. He's probably hate like tattoo people out there are probably like this guy's an idiot. I'm sorry. I know nothing. 
never even considered getting a tattoo. I don't even know what my first tattoo would be if I were to get one. Well, you've been buying rings, and you said you want to paint your nails. I am kind of going through a phase right now. <laughs> I've got, you know, a new, new you know, ring, a new necklace. You know, I'm about to start. I'm proud of you, Jack. I'm going to get my nails painted with Carl Jacobs and Austin Show. I haven't forgot, guys. We're going to get our nails done. <laughs> the boys. The boys. We're going to get our nails painted. So I don't know. You know, maybe soon I'm going to have my first song come out. And uh, we'll collab when, when you're a super big music artist. Okay. Um, yeah, remember us little guys. Yeah, and I'll, and I'll be sure to ruin a song that we're on. Um, but no, okay, so tattoos we covered. I, I want to get into this one too um, because this is a question I love to ask in the podcast, and you guys know this, Abbott, Kirk, and HHO show viewers. Um, you've had some awesome collaborations, obviously, with the, the success you've now seen. Is there anyone out there from a TikTok standpoint that you'd want to collab with and then from a music standpoint that you'd want to collab with? That's for you. I want to collab with like Raymore because she's like one of my favorite people. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but it has um, been shocking hearing this like so many times. Like Bella, like told me like oh, all of my favorite people are here. Like when we're at the shoot and stuff, and I'm just like me. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> still crazy to be like sitting here next to you. It's still crazy. But That's yeah, awesome. like Aww. um, there's a lot of people I want to like collab <clears throat> with, and yeah, I. Like any like real celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> well, like real celebrities. <laughs> You're a celebrity. What true, do you mean? True, true, true. true. But um, I mean, my favorite ones is oh, of course Ray, and then there's Bretman Rock, and then I let's just go um, to Hawaii. I know. Let's his just his go. TikTok like, backgrounds of in Hawaii. His TikToks are insane. With, like where he lives. Yeah. He's in great shape now. It looks like he's 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 been working yeah. out. Yeah. He was on my TikTok for you page the other day with a pair of rain boots. He was like, got new rain boots. <laughs> oh my gosh, I yeah, I rain. love that, that and, video. He yeah. Put, yeah. And I was like, I, that's iconic. I love yeah. it. Okay, so so th those are more TikToks I'd be as, as Ray mentioned, is there like a, hey, Ariana Grande, I want to be in a music video with you, which I mean, no one really gets to do. <laughs> But like, I made a music video. Where we, were, we can pull that up. If you want. I knew that was coming. Um, but like, are you like, I want to make a song with you, Justin Bieber, and you can put that in the universe right now. Like, who do you want to make a song with? Um. Well, so I want to put out a song with first, like Suburban, because okay, yeah, okay, and um, yeah, Suburban's just been like so nice, and he produced um, Build a Bitch, mm -hmm. and he's very talented. And then Ariana Grande, if she knows even if i exist but <laughs> i'm sure she knows, <laughs> she, yeah, she you know, knows i exist scooter. <laughs> we should facetime scooter <laughs> are you actually going to uh i, I don't want to embarrass does, myself too. if he doesn't answer so maybe after off camera okay but I mean, yeah <laughs> We'll see who he, oh, what if, uh, what if, oh yeah. both of you at the same time what if you too. facetime and he didn't answer and then i facetime and he did answer he's done that before yeah he has <laughs> well, listen. Maybe, maybe we can talk to Ariana. You know, I Scooter. Scooter used to love me once. He doesn't love you anymore. No, I'm just kidding. Scooter's a fucking man. Yeah, he is. Scooter's yeah, yeah. Great. Okay, uh, so Ariana. we should do that. Scooter's one of our investors, and mm -hmm. he's basically done everything he can to make Hundred Thieves bigger. He brought us out to like Ariana's concert, introduced yeah. me to oh, Drake. Wow. Yeah, he's the reason why like I got to meet Ariana. Mm -hmm. It's just so sick. So well, let's have a conversation and introduce you to Scooter, and then you guys take it away. Wow, wow. look at that. Oh my 100 gosh. Thieves, making <laughs> dreams happen here at the Kirk and Nate Shot Show. Um, okay, so Ariana would be, would be that one. Now, you, you've mentioned the music side. You've, you're, you're crushing with TikTok. Do you have any, would you ever want to be an actor? Do you have any goals yeah. to be an actor? You know, I was people, thinking like, about like voice acting, but ooh. I mean, I'm, I'm well, pretty sure like, yeah. <laughs> Why not both? Yeah. You just try Are there any really good impressions that you do? Impressions? Like, I'm so bad with impressions. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a talent yeah. guy. I mean, I get that. Um, yeah, no, voice acting's interested me. I had someone in my chat the other day literally donate five, and they were like, "You and Ray should get into voice acting." I'm like, uh, "Okay." I mean, I'd be interested to try yeah. it. Like, I think like kind of what you did with the music video, like with the uh, with the uh, MGK one, and now this one, like. You were probably scared to go out of your comfort zone and try something new, but like if the opportunity like that, you just gotta do it. Honestly. Yeah. So like, yeah. I mean, I don't know how you feel, but I if someone came to me and was like, "Hey, I have this character. I think you'd be great to voice. I want you to try." I'd be like, "Sure." Let's yeah. Do it. No, I feel like I could be in a horror movie, like someone screaming in Scream the background. Right now. I'm not screaming right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, come on, you gotta. Uh, I know. I don't want to scream. Right. I hear you scream. I've heard you scream on. Uh, 
Twitch all the time. Yeah, you... and that's what the the volume down, the doors are shut. You know, like there's so many ears that are like. It's soundproof. Just one. Just belt it out. All right, let's all scream together on three. Okay. Are you kidding? Yep. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, I'm lightheaded. Like, hey. You good? Okay, okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. You want me to scream as if I'm getting murdered? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, please this plug is your pretend ears. you're on acting. And and Ray, this is your big this is your big role. Three, two, one, action. <laughs> oh my god. All right, you're in. That was really good. Man, this is we're, we're doing everything the opposite of what should be done on a podcast right you're, now. You're we're in. just breaking the audio. Oh, we're just god. doing what we can to make the audio as bad I'm as sorry possible. For your ears. No, no, no. These no, it's fine. I feel I mean, so bad. These are condensed microphones. And I'm bleeding just a little bit, honestly. <laughs> okay. from my ears after that. <laughs> okay. Um the glass no. on my watch is shattered. Yeah, oh what the Sorry, the, the table's like slowly like moving away oh, from did me. I, am I even moving it? I'm sorry. Let me. Okay, wait, okay. wait, hold on. I'm readjusting. <laughs> I'm so it. sorry. We're good. No, we're Jesus. good. Jesus. Yeah. Um, act professional. Clipped. Wait, so this is your first ever podcast? <laughs> yes. How how's this experience been? Because I don't get. I don't know if we have any first time podcast guests. We did. Oh, but they were like often. our close friends. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Bella's Bella's a like. I mean, for me, a lot of people that we've had on the podcast do a lot of like long form content where they're talking a lot. Yeah. And with TikTok or what I've seen, I mean, and the music videos, how has this been? Fun. Nice. Did yeah. You yourself? Fuck yeah, yeah. I thought you I thought it was gonna... a Yelp review. I was scared. Serious, huh? I was yeah. scared. Yeah. I was scared the first time I did it too. But well, I I have a question. Yes. Now that now that the pandemic's like coming to a close a little bit here in Los Angeles and people are vaccinated and things are opening back up, will you be all our friend? Yeah. I mean, she's already my friend. So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go get, tell my girlfriend I made a new friend today. No, she's gonna be really proud of me. It's been a long time since I made a new friend because I've been locked <laughs> in my room, slowly losing my sanity and my mind across the last year and two months in the pandemic. I want to know, Bella, like, what made you decide to post now. your first TikTok? Like, how did you get into TikTok, and like, why was it just like addicting? <laughs> yeah. So, like, first, like, I didn't even know like TikTok existed up until like January. This like 2020 last january yeah right? same to be honest yeah because like right before the pandemic yeah two months before oh wow yeah and like my friends were just like sending me like videos like funny videos and they're like download the app like yeah and so i decided to download it and then yeah and my friends were telling me oh you should like post some content because they were they were doing like dance trends and stuff like that mm -hmm. and i decided to post my first tiktok video and it was of me singing your first one was singing? Yeah, it was. Uh, I was singing Raindrops by Ariana Grande. And then, I don't know. I didn't know how TikTok works at that time. So it was like bad lighting and like, yeah. It was horrible. Like, horrible it was lighting. Horrible. <laughs> yeah, I did it, it in the there? in my bathroom and like there were no lights on. And no. So like what happened was I uploaded it and they got like 100 views. And then I decided to take it down because I got anxious. You got Aww. nervous? Yeah. Oh and my, my friends gosh. were like, why did you take it down? And I'm like, I don't know, because like it only got 100 views, and I wanted to go viral. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go viral. <laughs> <laughs> it's but, not good enough. <laughs> yeah, so, Aww. yeah. And then my friends were like, no, just, it's fine. Like, re-upload it. And I'm like, no. And then I decided, like, well, I like to play video games, so why don't I just start posting, like, video game content-related stuff? And that's where I started. What's your favorite game of all time? Oh, uh, I like Tekken. That's oh, yeah. my oh, okay. first fighting game. Fighting game. Fight fight? Yeah, is a fun fact right here. Um, there's like, <laughs> so like every time I went on deployment when I was in Japan, I yep. was deployed like two times, and um, we would have this Tekken tournaments, like video game tournaments, like COD tournaments, yeah. and like other stuff and i would join the tekken tournament and the tournaments on the ship like we'd be in the middle of the ocean so we'd all be like depressed and stuff so to oh. boost morale the captain would be like oh we'll have these these video game tournaments for everybody and so i would join the tekken one and then i would just be everybody's hey, that's lit. <laughs> let's go with oh panda so everybody knew yeah. who the fuck you were on the ship they're like okay Yo, we're not playing awesome. her in tekken no more Holy hell. I don't I played way more Mortal Kombat. I would say who's yeah. your favorite character to use in Tekken? Panda. I just don't know who that is. It's just a panda. Are you watching oh. <laughs> Are you watching Jujutsu Kaisen at all? 
Uh, no, you should. but I, I was you told by to. everybody to stop. Because there's a so character good. in that show that That's may or may not be a panda. <laughs> Literally wow. a panda. <laughs> Pandas are cute. Wait, that's okay. That's so that's sick. So then you you were snaking you were snaking everyone on the on the on the boat when it went in the tournaments. Um, no Call still, of Duty. Any Call of Duty? No, no I suck at that game, so I just give up. Oh, fair. <laughs> so does he. Um, I just kept dying the first two seconds, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna give up. <laughs> it is demoralizing True. when you just keep dying after it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So then, any goals to uh, stream more games in the future? I know you did a stream um, from here. Yeah, I One remember. Time. Like that was so fun. Yep. Okay. So maybe <laughs> but, maybe Bella Bella yeah. Porch, the streamer in the future. Yeah. Yeah, Brad started streaming. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Don't like do it. Filipino just make girl. music. <laughs> just make just <laughs> from Matt's experience. Just make music. No, nah, streaming's great, but you're talented. I mean, you could do you could do it all. Yeah. You know, like just maybe even once a month, just pop on a stream. It's a nice way to like talk to your viewers and stuff mm -hmm. and your audience. Oh, that is That's true. You can definitely connect yeah. really well with with your mm -hmm. audience, especially when it's live like that. Live. Mm -hmm. One to one. It's the best or, way to connect, I think. Oh, 100%. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um, all right. Well, Bella, I don't know how long we've been in this podcast. Yeah, for. how long? It's been going by so fast. Um, oh, nice. Oh, wow. Well, this is a th I think this has been a, 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 a very surprising episode where I learned way more about you than I actually could have ever expected to. Matt, you did a great job with your questions early on, um, making me more understand what Bella did prior to TikTok. Yeah. Because you've had probably arguably, I would say one of the craziest years anyone's ever had on social media on the internet. Yeah. I would have never guessed. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. In one year, you probably have close to 100 million followers across all social media. That's fucking wild. Yeah. That's fucking nuts. <laughs> That's <laughs> that fucking wild. What have I been insane. doing this whole time? Oh my God. Holy shit. Yeah. I think you, you, you're one video. I'm going to check my TikTok page. I think your one video has more likes in my entire account in history. 49 million, you said? Yeah. Oh, my God. I have 30 million in total. 30 million <laughs> likes. Dude, you're so bad. I'm bad at TikTok. I'm a boomer, dude. I don't get it. I do need to post more, too. I watch so I, don't I post told Ray to post more. Yeah, Jack's been telling me to post more, but, like, I just... I did post some gameplay that I deleted all the gameplay. Like, I have this problem where I'll delete things after a while because I, I cringed at myself. Mm -hmm. But I need to just, like, leave them up. And I have like five TikToks. <laughs> Will you teach us how to be TikTok superstars? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's very simple. Just be yourself. Aww. Bang. You idiot. Yeah. Why don't you be yourself? Just be yourself. Yeah. Right. You're trying to be somebody you're start, not. I'm going to start eating on TikTok. Just do mukbangs. Ooh. I do need you to. You can do food reviews. I love mukbangs. My entire TikTok page is just people eating food. Well, Bella, thank you so much thank for you. coming on the thank podcast, you. especially on this big week, because I know that uh, while while this podcast experience may have been a whirlwind uh, in regards to how we switch topics and be loud uh, and scream like we did, your week is about to get crazy, uh, I'm sure, or already has yeah. started. Are you nervous? Yeah, but I'm just so busy that I, I don't even have time to be nervous no anymore. Time that's to be nervous. Nervous. There's nothing better than that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's actually that's so true. I know that I know that feeling. Well, congratulations. It's gonna be great. Again, if you're watching this right now, build a bitch. Build a bitch. Premieres tonight at nine p.m. PST. Premieres tonight nine p.m. PST. Twelve a.m. EST. EST. Very early. Very early. Europe time. Europe time. Y'all are far away. Six hours after. It features features in, in the video. In the video. Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Bradman, not... Mia Khalifa. Yeah, I don't know if those are announced. Are those gonna be announced by the time this comes out? Oh, we only saw that in the night. Cut that. Okay, bleep that out. Bleep that out. Bleep it. No, bleep it. It's going to be featuring beep, 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 beep. Motherfuckers out here doing Morse code. Good save. And yeah, go stream it right now. It's like, oh, oh, we should like stream, stream, build a bitch now. We can be those people on Stream, build a bitch now. Where they, You know those K-pop stands where they just reply with like stream, stream these people now? I'm going to be you. I'm going to tweet out your video and stream, build a bitch now. And I'm going to help. Oh, thank yep. you. So if it gets 10 million views in day one, I take 50% credit. Matt gets 40%. <laughs> Ray, you get 5%. I want executive producer credits on the song and the video. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm gosh. kidding. We're really trying to find our way to talk to ourselves. <laughs> it was them two in the video, not us at all. We're just the two weirdos in the Damn podcast. Um, Bella, thank you for joining us. Ray, I want to say you thank smell. you so much for joining us for, for the me. podcast. Yeah, congratulations on being another great video. Bella, congratulations on all your success this year. I look forward thank to you. having you on the podcast again next year when you're on your triple platinum album. <laughs> You've got with, the longest thumb here. With 40 million Instagram followers <laughs> and Whoa, 350 million TikTok followers next year. 
That's my yeah, prediction. I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> how how, how uh, angled does your guys' thumb get if you want to? I got double jointed thumbs. Yeah, me too. What? Like, you I guys can. are hacking. Wait, they're what? hacking. <gasps> what the fuck yeah. is that? Yeah. Okay. What the While we look at each other's thumbs, we're going to end the podcast here. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Bye. Bye. Bye.